Especially south, because water scares people in Southern California. So uh, it's raining, so I pull into the parking lot of the coffee shop. Now keep in mind, two coffee shops, side by side, same menu, same price, same taste, okay? And I've been to both of them several times. I'm sitting in the parking lot in the rain inside my car, trying to decide where I'm gonna get my coffee that morning. Now while I'm sitting in the car, in the rain, trying to decide which of the two coffee shops I'm gonna patronize that morning, an employee from one of the coffee shops, now go ahead and give you the name of this coffee shop, Starbucks, okay? One of the employees from Starbucks comes out with an umbrella. He walks over to the window of my car, taps on the window and does this, as if to say roll the window down. I roll the window down and standing in the rain holding an umbrella, this employee from Starbucks says, good morning, sir. Welcome to Starbucks. Whenever you're ready, I'll walk you to the door. Where do you think I got my coffee that morning? Do I have to tell you why? Okay, now I guarantee you that young man's job description did not say thou shalt walk the customer to the door when it's raining. I guarantee you that's nowhere on his job description. But he did it because he understood something about customer service that I want you to understand about customer service. Feel free to go ahead and write this down wherever you have some room. Customer service is about going the extra mile to make your customers feel safe and valued, okay? Going the extra mile to make your customers feel safe and valued. There are lots of things uh, that I'm gonna give you that are in the package of my life, no joke, on the same day. Uh, I am a stutterer. I was in speech therapy for the first 12 years of my life. I could barely talk. I could not even say my name. If you asked me what my name was, I would say, D -d 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 I could barely say my name. One day in third grade, my third grade teacher said to everyone in class, here's your assignment. I want you to come up front, tell everybody your name, tell everybody what you want to be when you grow up. I could not get my name out. I said, D -d 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 and my third grade teacher laughed at me. Can you imagine how that made me feel to be laughed at uh, by the person who's supposed to be protecting you from that type of stuff? She laughs at me. Uh, and once I finally said what I wanted to be, I finally got out the word teacher. She said, Derek, you'll never be a teacher. Teachers have to talk every day, and you can't talk. I went to my speech therapist in tears, telling her what just happened, and Ms. Patterson just laughed at me, and everybody's laughing at me. Here's what my speech therapist told me. One day, the people who are laughing at you will be applauding you. I believe in you, okay? I'm so glad that I had an educator who cared to offset the educator who laughed at me. One of the reasons why I'm glad to be here today is you all have no idea how important you are. Many people in education don't really realize just how important you are. I, I, I guarantee you there are kids at this school and all throughout the school district who go home talking about you and you don't even know it. They go home talking about your smile or the hug you gave them or how nice you are, whatever, the, and you don't even know about it. You are changing lives every day. And since you're changing lives every day, we wanna make sure that you're equipped with all the skills you need to make that um, go as smoothly as possible. I'm